What is up, guys? Welcome to Slumber Party Podcast number 10. Ooh. And 10 is for bend. Bend. Oh, what a Speaking of bend. Blended word. Bend. Speaking of bend, you know, we actually saw some bending over this weekend when we were watching Jay Alvarez's sex tape. Yeah. Which I'm so sad because I didn't get to see it. If you guys have not seen it, please go out and find it because I guarantee you it's hot. You will get horny. So. It, is, it is honestly, I'm not like a huge one to watch sex tapes and whatnot, but I enjoyed that. That so was something different. Like that, Jay, oh, I wish I would pay money for you to watch this just to acknowledge it. us. But you are a beautiful goddamn human. This is, <laughs> this is true. I enjoyed watching it. Um, I'm not going to lie. I probably watched it like 10 times like, <laughs> on repeat. Like... I want that. Like hey, it's we're leaving cool. Sammy on. I know. She you has need no idea. Yeah, sorry. I want to see it so bad, but I can't find we it. We can anywhere. pull it up for you. We'll find it. We'll pull it up for you. Stop, it's really? insanely hot. Like <laughs> I like have it on like my saved like. <laughs> like she has a browser yeah, ready to go. <laughs> I have it here and I'll play it for you Sammy not like we can show everyone it uh, if you search it up you can go this, find it so most likely watch find it. it. This song, just like every time I hear the song now, I know, I'm like, I'm just gonna think of like him just railing this girl. I'm so excited to show Sammy. Okay, wait. <laughs> okay, here we go. I'm excited for this. Why is this such high quality? No, it's like I a just want to know who edited. the filmer is. Her tits. I know, and it's a full on like edited. <laughs> That's why it's trending right now. Cocoa oil. That's like the Hawaiian ways of like boob yeah like oh my god he's so hot i love him his eyes i just want to say this girl has a pretty vagina yeah she looks great yeah she looks amazing he has a big dick like pretty good size dude he's like i love him that's like hot to watch. Mm -hmm. Like, I think I would pay to watch that. Yeah, for sure. This is what the OnlyFans content needs to be. Yeah. Like, wow. That looks. And, and I'm a music watch choice. And I'm a watch it again. They like had an editor full on make sure that shit was perfect, though. Just OK. I saw. Send so like it's me. trending all over TikTok right now. Yeah. Everybody's like, like, yeah, everybody's making memes of like the coconut oil and stuff. And it was like the video guy and the mic guy like recording and then just the coconut oil splashing on them. And they're just like, <laughs> as they're Wait, recording. That is so funny. I haven't gotten any of those. OK, yeah, you know dude, what? So Let funny. me just say, though, that is probably one of the best things to come out of 2020. Right. right? I agree. Wow. Thank I agree. you. What a gift. A Christmas gift. Ten out of Literally. <laughs> I, I couldn't have asked music. for more. Dude, that was wow. perfect. Like lights, camera, action, that shit. That was, that was a dream. I just want to know who filmed it because I bet you the person filming it had a boner the entire time. Oh, I'm 100%. sure. That's but I feel like they filmed that to get leaked. Because that's too good. No, they that's did. No. That's, yeah. not a, that's too good. It's not an actual, like an accidental little slip. Like, no, out it's like a public. full on movie. Like yeah. I would like an hour of that, please. Oh, 100%. I, I was like, <laughs> and a sequel. I know, when I saw that, I'm like, is it not longer? I'm like, can you just like do more? He should just make an OnlyFans. I've never subscribed to OnlyFans, but I think I would subscribe to his. I would. Maybe they will now. That's the so she, sad. Like, I yeah, I She's would. a porn star, right? No, she is. She's like an Instagram model too. Well, they both. were like dating for a minute, I think. Okay. Really? Because I saw them together like everywhere, like on Instagram and stuff. Oh, right. Oh. Okay. Well, I don't know. I mean, <laughs> have you guys ever seen Kim Kardashian and Ray J's sex tape? When I was I in eighth I've grade. Guys, no, like, I know. That was like a thing awful. like back in the day. But like that awful. compared to hers. Laura, you would laugh your ass off if you oh, haven't seen it. It's funny. I feel it's like I've funny. seen like and parts it's like, of it. It's pre like her having a shit ton of work done so she doesn't look. It's just funny. And it's like. And it's like an old video because it's, it's back when. It, the camera quality was, it was awful. All, it was like probably a real, it's probably a real video camera. camera. I think, yeah. yeah, and it was the the. I think they had music in it, but it was just so funny. Like you, because this is before Kim Kardashian was actually Kim Kardashian. Right. Like I have to show you. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember when it came out and stuff. I might have seen like some of it here and there. I definitely yeah. go have Googled it for sure. Yeah. But like, yeah. Did you guys ever see the meme of Chris uh, Jenner and she's like, when Kim's sex tape came in, I wanted to kill her, but as her manager. 
It cracks. I'll send it, it to you guys. Right? It that's, me so like, that's what's crazy. Like, I don't understand how I'm like, well, should I just have a sex tape and then become like run the world? <laughs> because that's just picture I Chris mean, Jenner as like the mean girl's mom, just, like holding the camcorder. And she's like, yeah, just like that. Okay. And the <laughs> fact that that mean girl song was just in, the, in Jay's. I know. Oh my God, it's the mean girl song. I that's, was wondering. Um, yes. Oh my God. I forgot. When they do the slow-mo walk yeah. down the. Oh. Shut the fuck wow. up! I that just now hit me like that is fully from I didn't Mingo. Even yeah, that. yeah. I was like, I love that song, but what is it? Oh, yeah. I, I was like, Missy I feel like Elliot. I heard it, but like, yeah, that's I love insane. Missy oh my gosh, yeah, I can't believe that. Would you guys ever? How much money would someone have to pay you for you to have a sex tape? And like, have it leaked? And have it leaked? Here's the thing. Well, yeah, yeah. Obviously. What I'm thinking about is like, that's it. Like, I, oh that's my God, yeah. your. That's what you're known for. Like Kim Kardashian is Kim Kardashian, but. And Paris at the end Hilton of the day. has one. Yeah, at the end I've of the day. I've never seen Paris Hilton's. It's like a long, I mean, old, old video. Well, shit, if my, if I ever had a sex tape leaked, I just know that it would for sure look something like that. I'd be like, now we're redoing it. Like it has to look yes. like that. Cause that's Make sure the light hits yeah, but my the, face. Thing, the point of it accidentally leaking is like, you don't know what's going to be leaked. Like I know that they probably intentionally leaked yeah, it. Yeah, that's true. You know what I mean? Like. Why would they make that so perfect? Exactly. There has to be raw footage of that somewhere. 100%. <laughs> it's no, probably I mean, so awkward with like out the music. Yeah. It's just like, I can't. Uh, like, I know, right? <laughs> just like, the coconut oil. Like, like silent quiet. Or do you think they're just playing that song on repeat the entire time Dude, in the room? The like a music time. video. Dude, uh, oh my God. That's so awkward. <laughs> that's actually really. I feel like filming that has to be awkward, but that looked so like natural and hot. Like, I know. I just, I'm impressed. Like, I'm, I'm really impressed. They used a lot of lighting. Think about the amount of, like, selfie, No, it was like, just the camera light, like, on the thing, because it's, like, all dark and then spotted light on them. So whoever had the camera, there was a light on the camera. Their skin is just great. Like, they it's have the really coconut great skin. coconut oil. And they had somebody filming Yeah, but they're tan them, as right? fuck. Well, yeah. yeah. It, gosh. Tan, We are fit. tan in the summer. Yeah. Fit. I don't know about fit, but we're tan. Well, how much would someone have to pay you, honestly, for it to get leaked and it and not be that quality? Like something Ugh, where you're five just million. like, a, yeah, I was going to say, like, it's not that quality, five million. That, there goes your fucking body. Like it's everywhere. I'd I know, right? Like I can't even mil. imagine like people seeing me, like my Naked, family watches these videos. Yeah. I can't even um, think like that would be so yeah terrifying all the time walking around knowing that everyone if something of me like that got leaked I just make an OnlyFans after that <laughs> what's worse like what could be worse that's a nice body, like recovery yeah your you know body's I mean? already out there so like might as well make money more money off of it yeah that's a good way to recover you'd be like yeah. oops but if you want to see more if you want to see you know, more I'm like oh, shout shit, out to all the girls like, that have OnlyFans do you Get guys that bag. remember when Bella Thorne leaked her own news intentionally yes because somebody was like blackmailing her yeah. and they were like I'm gonna leak your nudes and she like tweeted and she like posted her nudes and she was like fuck the person like who wants to leak my nudes like you have no power over me so I'm leaking them for myself like fuck you that was a slap in the yeah, face yeah. I really like the way that she handled that yeah truly and she went on all these interviews that I heard with like Howard Stern yeah. and Whoopi Goldberg and Whoopi kind of like dragged her a little bit but Howard Stern was like hey like you know I mean wait that's yeah I remember nuts. that that's insane but then like poor Jennifer Lawrence out here getting wrecked for her new, like just they were so I many celebrity nudes have you seen Vanessa Hudgens no Th that was like way back that was in the day. so long ago so I, remember I remember hearing in, about that being, yeah. but I was young I think yeah she was this was a long time ago her um nudes got leaked it's so sad when people do that like I just find that to be so fucked up. Like someone that you've dated or whatever in the past, how immature do you have to yeah, be to do to that? Do or that. like people dragging people for it and being like, how dare you? But it's like, okay, come on. And like, you probably have your own nudes on your camera roll, right? Yeah. Now. yeah. And like, Dude, my ex I just like- hate cancel culture. Blackmailed like me. He was like, I have some nasty shit of you if you don't like unblock me on Instagram. And like- That's so funny. And I was just like, are you seriously threatening me right now? Like, are you really blackmailing me? I'm like, you're such a piece of shit for that. Like, That's it's, so It's fun. so shitty because you like really don't know what to do in that situation. Yeah. Exactly. I'm not going to leak my own nudes. Like, I'm fucking terrified of that. Dude, I feel like if that ever happened, like- I was thinking, I was like, dude, would I kill myself? Like, I'm being, like, like dude, I wouldn't even know what to do. <laughs> like, Cry. I, I would pass out. I would instantly I pass out on the spot. I would be so sad. It would definitely be a rush of anxiety, but I think as long as you own it. Yeah. And you handle it with like grace and you're smart about it. And yeah. you know, and then there's ways obviously like not to get too into, like, into it, but you can take the legal route and like. It's, it's just, just a shitty people. situation. Like, it's it's so shitty. shitty. Ever put anyone in. Yeah. Like, Cause like guys like, it's dick, like an intimate moment. Guys like dick pics will get leaked and it's like 
no big deal. Like nobody gives well, a fuck about like a dick well, face. Is, I, I was going to say that too. There's yeah. that aspect. And I just feel like, you know, as women, it's so much harder, but. I know. I Whenever no. I like send a nude, I always try not to put my face in it. Yeah. Just in case. But then I have all God these forbid, tattoos yeah. and it's like, yeah, that's you definitely fucking her. Like, yeah. those are all her tattoos. And it's like me with my freckles and I'm like. Yeah, you're I like, know. Oh, people would know. Oh, it's such a weird weird concept i don't know if you guys are out there just never leak anyone's nudes like yeah, yeah don't be don't be that piece of shit person slumber party That's podcast like the, does not approve yeah in high school like i had like people i went to school with and stuff in my grade and stuff like their own boyfriends were leaking nudes of their girlfriends and we're like 16 17 at the yeah. time like that's so fucked up it's so, so like fucked. i know girls who like i've literally seen them naked when they were like 16 yeah that's disgusting. you know what's crazy again not like just the legalities of it like now there's so many laws surrounding yeah. like child pornography and like cybers yeah. like all that yeah. stuff and i think about when we were young and like girls that had boyfriends and like their nudes would get passed yeah. all around school and like I remember when it went to print it in the locker room like That's and I'm so seeing it now and I'm like oh my god like these kids could I have know. been so screwed That's like so true. Yeah. had that happen now like we were we're 16 15 yeah. and that shit's going around like that's so sad and yeah. even like friends of guys that like the friends see the girlfriends you know what I mean like when like a boyfriend will show like his friends all the girlfriend's nudes. It's like, why are you showing everyone? Like, that's your girlfriend. Exactly. Don't show I, everyone. I keep thinking them. about that scene in Euphoria where Nate's sitting on the couch and he's showing um, all of Cassie, Sydney Sweeney's tits. Yes. Yeah. And like, like him would, fucking her in. Like, yeah. It's so sad. And they're all like, yeah. And then like the one guy that likes her, he's like, it's just crazy. Like, why would you want other people to see your girlfriend? I know. And then like, oh, yeah. like to brag, like, oh, cool. You get yeah. hot girls. Like, it's just, it's so it's not, messed up. It's not cute at all. Yeah, I don't yeah. like it at all. But I mean, I'm. it's more of a thing. Like when we're in high school, we're so young. We're so, so fucking stupid. All of us have made dumb mistakes in high school. Mm -hmm. And I totally get that. But still, it's just like crossing the line. And yeah. I hope people like that are that young nowadays just like realize that. Yeah, but I mean, when we're that exactly. young, like we also don't think of like yeah. things like that. Like your nudes, nudes get leaked and you're 15, 16. Like you don't know what the fuck to do. You don't want to tell your parents because you're yeah. scared. Like you honestly like cannot do anything unless you yeah. have like the balls for it. Like right. and at the same time, it's like on the other side, the girls, let's say that send the nudes at 15 and whatnot. Yeah. Like you have to be conscientious knowing that the boys are young and immature. They might show their friends. They yeah. probably will. Yeah. And so you have to be you aware of that. Like think that exactly. I feel like at the time, which is like your brain's not fully developed. Exactly. You can't, like, fully, yeah. You don't, but it's like, like get it. if through, young yeah. people are listening to this, like know that, you know, like at be least some, coming from someone yeah. that's older. I like, I feel like I wish I could tell all the girls in high school, like you have to be smart with whatever you do. You do. And like, whatever and you don't you do have with to a guy. do it that young either. Oh like, no. no, like don't feel pressured. If your young guy makes you feel pressured. Like, That's the thing. Yeah. I feel like I didn't really do stuff kind of like that when I was young. Me neither. I, I didn't either. Me neither. Yeah. But there were girls in my grade that oh, always, yeah. and then I would always end up seeing girls in my grade naked yeah. and whatnot because it would just go around the school and I felt so bad because I'm like, damn, I wish these girls knew going into it what the potential consequence of yeah. doing that would yeah. be wait can you know? i ask kind of a personal question how sure. old were you guys when you lost your virginity you don't have to share um i mean i don't really mind sharing i was in high school i had a boyfriend yeah. okay same i was out of high school really mm -hmm. so you were over 18 yeah Holy but i think shit. now but all for these you. kids that are like yeah. i don't know i just feel like everybody's in a rush to grow up so fast so i'm like i know i'm gonna crazy. like literally when i have my own kids i'm gonna lecture the fuck out of them i'm literally yeah. gonna scare them to death yeah i'm gonna be like your life is going to be over i'm going to kick you out like and just like to where it like yeah. scares them so bad that they don't do that but i also want to be like so open like a with homie, them yeah. and like yeah be their like best friend and be like look like don't be a piece of shit exactly <laughs> no my mom is like she she was so great like going growing up she's always been telling me that I can always tell her anything mm -hmm. like she's yeah. very very open with me I'm open with her and we have That's a great good. relationship yeah, in that aspect is. and so I don't know I feel like because I lost it so young it was only because I had a boyfriend of two years and I was sure my mom made it sure to tell me that that kind of stuff is very important. You don't want to just like waste that, throw it away, that kind of right. thing. Like, Yeah, I never had that, but I was actually surprisingly very smart about what I did. Even yeah. though like I didn't have someone to like talk to like that, like, yeah. or someone tell me, like give me like the sex talk or whatever. Yeah. Like 
I was still very, very like scared and careful, like with yeah, that's good. everything I did. So I was like really glad that I like kind of like taught myself not to be dumb. But mm-hmm. I feel like nowadays there's like 14 year olds just I know going like or even middle schoolers will do some crazy shit. Like my brother, I get to see all these girls in his grade because he's younger and in high school. But it's so different nowadays with those younger kids. I know it's yeah. crazy how that is. Like that is so and sad. How girls look <laughs> know. in high school now compared to like when I was in oh high god, school. I was so I didn't. Ugly. Oh my god, I didn't even look close. Dude, to girls like, look like seventeen when they're like fourteen, and I'm like. I don't even Scary. think I wore, I literally don't think I wore a thong till high school. Like I'm pretty I sure like sixth grade girls are doing that now. Yeah. I know. No, I literally I my remember, yoga pants and a panty I remember when I bought my first thong, I was like in seventh grade and it was just like as a joke, like I was terrified of wearing it. I was like, this is so fucking uncomfortable, but like, yeah, me, and, hurt. Yeah, me and my friends just like bought one just to like, be like, oh, like, like it's a thong, you know, like, but it's so like normal now. Like that's all I wear. Yeah. But yeah. it's like, when I first bought it, I was like fucking scared. I like, didn't let my mom like do my laundry. I like washed it myself. Cause I thought she was going to be like, what the you. fuck is this? Like I was hiding it. Yeah, me I was too. Nervous. I was like, oh shit, my mom's going to see this. She's going to be like, ew, like my daughter's wearing this. Like, dude, I was so, so scared. Funny. But like now, all I mean, there it's was such always a normal two thing. types of girls because I was definitely the girl that was like scared to wear a thong, scared to wear yeah. a bra. But then there were like the girls that would show up to high school and like with a white tank top and like a red bra and oh, like yeah, like, yeah, 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 their thong like pulled up. I don't know if like that was like a thing no, oh the whale tails. Yes, like, no, well, that was like, like girls yeah. one, and I was like, like yoga <gasps> pants. That's so inappropriate. Like I'm sitting here in leggings and my granny panties. Yeah, so with your right. underwear line, my and underwear my hoodie, and I'm like, preach. I then I played volleyball. So like when we're all younger, we have like the thick ass oh, like yeah. underwear lines and stuff in our spandex. Cute. But that's like until like you get to high school, then you're like, oh, okay. Now it's like we're with older people. They're going to make fun of us. You kind of have yeah, to like have yeah. no choice but to like get with it. Dude, I remember like in the locker rooms in middle school and I had my like thick granny panties on <laughs> and then like a girl next to me had a thong and I was just like kept my shirt over my pants <laughs> and I was like, oh my God, this like she's so wearing a thong. Weird. I feel like such a loser right now. I know. <laughs> but yeah wow the things I would do to be a kid though and like just have no worries I know I wish I could like go back and tell myself like you're gonna be okay like you're you're gonna be fine just like don't overthink shit and relax I wish I could go back and tell myself that but I mean we all grow up learning yeah well now we can tell all of you guys yeah chill the fuck out don't worry about shit because when you're older it doesn't even matter and that's why even now in this moment too I just tell myself I'm like we're still so young like I need to just calm the that. fuck down. Like yeah. I freak myself out about everything. Same. All the so time. do I. Same. And it's just so annoying. Cause I'm like, all right, I need to live in the moment. Literally just take it day by day. Like, yeah. so I need many- to stop like giving a fuck. Mm-hmm. Like well, what people think and stuff. I'm like super spiritual. And I always say the universe is going to lead you where you're supposed to be. And even now I feel like in this moment, I can look back on certain situations that I wish like worked out or like went differently or didn't happen. I'm like, okay like I would not be where I am today or who I am today or like have totally. you know all this yeah. stuff if I didn't go through that yeah so. no I agree Just I think trust like in I the universe too, yeah. trust in the universe yeah even like when shitty things have happened in the past I just know I'll look back now maybe I was a wreck at the time but I look back now and I'm like okay that was totally meant for a reason because yeah. every even every relationship that I've had every experience shitty great it doesn't matter every single time I've just known like wow I really did change as a person like I'm so different now than I was when I was younger I think we all are yeah we definitely all learned a lot of lessons yeah 100 percent growing up but that's everybody yeah yeah you learn from your mistakes yeah you learn from your mistakes 100 percent yeah I believe in that well back to the nude topic what we were saying how nudes are being exposed and leaked and whatnot I feel like nowadays, especially the older generation and millennials and that kind of thing, I feel like leaking nudes, not even leaking, but just posting nudes on Twitter and whatnot, it's so normalized. Like all these models nowadays you're seeing are posting them. It's it's insane. Yeah, literally just maybe a a day or two ago, Miley Cyrus posted a photo of her for the Rolling Stones and she's completely topless and like does not give a fuck. But like there's so many celebrities out there that literally have like, Pose topless like Lady Gaga, Rihanna, Miley Cyrus. Um, I think even Bella Hadid. Yeah, a lot mm-hmm. of the um, supermodels and stuff. Like they all do runways like with see-through stuff. Even Kendall Jenner. Like it's such a normal thing nowadays to like 
free the net, you know, free the totally. boobs. Like not even free the free the titties. Yeah, the, full the thing. whole thing is yeah. out of nine yards. <laughs> I literally can't stand though when I'm like wearing a top in a video and like I don't wear a bra because like I mean I fucking hate wearing bras. Yeah, and you can see my nip through it, and people just like freak out about it. And that last like, video, that yeah, was they're like, oh my god, like Lara's nipples wanted to come out and play today, and I'm like, you guys are so fucking perverted sometimes it's not even like that like freeing the nipple is such an okay thing to do nowadays yeah. and I wish people didn't yeah. have to make it so awkward and weird and like sexual like it's disgusting I know I agree I think the internet can be such a nasty place and yeah. like people are either gonna have like good opinions about what you do or bad opinions about what you do and then there's people that aren't as open-minded yeah. I guess which is so stupid because it's like, like a body's entire- a body and it is what it is and if you're yeah. getting that like the entire oh my God, I've world, seen nipple that, yeah, through her shirt, like has like yeah. opinions and stuff. Talk. And I'm like, people just need to like chill. Like, why does everybody need like a goddamn opinion? Like, yeah, just be yeah. chill. That's I feel like, like I mean, that's how I am. But yeah, I feel like there's two sides of it. There's like one side where nudity is like a beauty statement, kind Ex- of. I, that's you know, how like I a see model, it. Yeah. Like, it's like a it's woman's like a, body is so fascinating. It's art, mm-hmm. yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then there's another side of it where people think that nudity is completely something that you should do in private and that kind of thing. And that it's like not as special if it's released publicly and that kind of thing, which, and on both sides, I, I can acknowledge and I understand, like agree with both sides. Right. It's just, I don't know, for me, I could never post something like a celebrity would where I'm like fully just like naked on Twitter, but a celebrity that does that, I'm like power to you. I wish I had the balls to do that. And I don't know. I think that, it's a cool photo too of mine. Yeah, mind. absolutely. Yeah. I yeah. feel like I could never actually just like post my tits out like that because like my following are the like creepy men that like would like masturbate. masturbate. Did I get so many DMs that are like, I masturbate like five times a day to your photos. Like, and I'm lovely. like, that's disgusting. I'm blocking you. Like, I yeah. don't tell me Goodbye. that. Yeah. Like yeah. it's so outrageous, but like, I just don't, don't understand. Like everybody has nipples everybody so yeah. like what's wrong with them showing through a shirt what's wrong with them like being posted like I don't I don't understand like I see nothing wrong with it and then that then people have to just go and make it like creepy yeah and it takes something that's so like like, like oh, a photo and you didn't think about it or a yeah. video and you're just like out here trying to you know have yeah. fun and live your life and then people are like yeah. making it about that yeah that's like me with, and like, it's just like makeup, so annoying it's you like know? you guys need to like chill out you know like I'll post a photo on Instagram and you know it's um, my nipples are showing or something or like I'm cold through a shirt people are like oh it must be cold in that room I'm like yeah no fucking shit it's cold in this room that's why my nipples are <laughs> you know popping out my shirt but like you guys don't have to make it awkward just enjoy the fucking picture yeah like it's like it's a goddamn nipple I know what's well, so yeah, like you get that I get that. I get like, people dragging me for like the makeup the hair it's like always something yeah. and I'm like why? yeah why does everybody have to be so opinionated yeah. like yeah. just like goddamn, if you don't like, have something picture, nice yeah, yeah. just enjoy yeah. It, tap a, like like it's like people going out of their way to like say something so negative and like nasty on yeah. any so mm-hmm. i just never understood it you guys but, imagine you know. um imagine watching hannah montana like five six years ago and they're like you're gonna see her naked on twitter one day okay well wait. <laughs> i would be like no like i, I remember montana growing up. being in like sixth seventh eighth grade and that was when she was trying to phase out of her Hannah Montana phase. Yeah. And she was, they weren't nudes, but she would be in like booty shorts and like a crop oh, she top. she was doing like, like eh, and then, yeah. You know, like so what? Was, those photos <laughs> were going around. Yeah. Those photos were going around. Yeah. And the then, wrecking ball phase. And then the wrecking yeah, ball. That and then, was aggressive do you remember? It was a huge deal when this was pre wrecking ball when she was at, the kids choice awards or maybe it was the VMA. it was something and they brought out an ice cream bar and had a pull on it and she just like held on to it dropped it low and everybody was yeah. like oh my god and it was like insane do it's you guys so crazy remember so ridiculous no, do you now, guys remember when she like did that um music video thing to that song with it's like you're a good girl I know you like, oh yeah I what, oh no that's Rob blurred something. lines though no but she wasn't no, in that no no Oh, wait, are you thinking of Can't Be Tamed and she's in a cage? No. Because that's what I was thinking. I don't know. Blurred lines when they were all naked. Miley was No, in no, the- no. It, she was like performing and she was in this like two-piece like nude suit and she looked like a you rotisserie chicken. 
I don't vaguely. know. I, like, I can't I really. I, it's like ring a bell. with that guy Rob something. Uh, you guys, if you saw it, you would know. I forgot what it was called. Robin Thick. Yes. No. Yes. Maybe. But that's Blurred Lines. That's why I'm. But they had another song, and it's on the same. Oh, of my Blurred tongue, and I Lines. Can't think yeah, yeah it, but that like, is it. Then maybe it was like another performance. Together. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like Miley has been she all over the charts. Yeah, yeah. She's, there's been so much. And like, it, I don't know. The way I see know? it is with Miley, like she, Hannah Montana, that's not how she really was. Like yeah. she was just growing up. Like we were growing up. Exactly. We've been through phases too. Mm-hmm. We grown up, but hers was publicly. So exactly. now it's like, Okay, for example, JoJo factor. Siwa, right? Like right. she has this Love contract JoJo. to be like, you know, she's, like she's making over. so much fucking money, like amazing power to yeah. her. But once that contract's over and she's no longer like glitter, like it's going to be weird. Bow, like everyone's going to think, well, what's how wrong old, with her? She's changing. She? She's, she's like 17. Yeah. But everyone's going to think what's wrong with her? Like she's changing so much. It's like, yeah. no, no, no. That's just like how she is now. She's just not putting on an act. Yeah. I can think of so many other like childhood stars though. Who like same thing. And like Bella when Thorne. we were growing up with them, yeah. well, like Vanessa, Zach, Efron, like all of all them. Of and them. I'm just like, and it was, everything was such a big deal when we were younger. Yeah. Like, the photo with Miley and the booty shorts and the crop top. And she's like. Yeah, and Justin Bieber. Like, eh, you know, like, Justin like, yes. Bieber. And everything was such a big deal. And we're like, oh my God. And now it's just kind of like. Mm-hmm. Everyone's like, what happened to them? And now like, we have no, the they girls on TikTok. TikTok that that we have all done it. <laughs> the little girls on TikTok that are doing way worse. Like, Oh gosh. Have you guys a, oh seen God. that one girl who like bends her fucking back and it's like, yeah, I'd call her patty cake because the way that no. shake. Yeah, yeah, she yeah. Like, yeah. And her, she, her back's like fucking broken. It's yeah, so funny. I saw that. It's oh so weird God. though now. Yeah, like everyone's wrecking everyone on Disney, but hello, have we looked at like the TikTok, TikTok, all of these people? Yeah. yeah. It's so funny because that photo that Miley posted with her tits out, somebody had like reposted it on Instagram or something on Twitter. And then over her nipples, they put the Hannah Montana logo. So it's just like <laughs> Hannah Montana and like- That's so funny. So funny. Like, I feel like I know for a fact that in five years from now, Charlie D'Amelio, everyone's going to be like, she changed so much. It's like, well, she was 14, 14 15 when she, when she started. Famous. And then now she's yeah. just going yeah. through like adolescence. She's growing up. It'll be interesting to see the whole TikTok side of it. Cause I feel like I was just thinking with Disney, it was like, you know, it was Disney and Disneyland and Mickey it's Mouse and the Disney yeah. stars. And yeah. they're, you know, so it's different. Yeah, and then like right. they edge out of that. And then it's like it, the, the magic is gone. And you're yeah. like, whoa. So it'll be interesting to see how the TikTok yeah kind of you know what I mean like everything's changing everything. like yeah. literally everything's changing so I just wonder like in another 10 years or like yeah another 10 years like how social media is going to be yeah like it's well, going to be it's going like, to be so yeah. different again yeah it's exciting and scary to think about yeah, yeah. well Disney's like zero to 100 like runs their contracts yeah. up. they're like they're like okay Let's bye fucking go you yeah. Know? yeah and then TikTok's like more like evolving slowly with yeah. time and Charlie People will probably be changing. dirty on TikTok Dude, that's I'm, what I'm saying because I feel like, like everything is just dirty Nothing yeah. is left up to the imagination anymore. I know. My TikTok is just like aggressive. And it's mine like, yeah, yours is aggressive, but yeah. it's like. Yeah. No, mine is. It's just funny. Mine's like dumb and I, mine's funny, but I also just don't even try. Like I look yeah. like way different than I do on any sort of social media platform. Let's just say. Don't we all though? You know what I mean? That's yeah. what I hate. Cause when people are like, oh, you look so different. Like, oh, like you're different on Instagram. You're different on YouTube. Yeah. And I'm like, Yeah. TikTok's my like the raw yeah. version of myself. Like that's yeah. like me. If you want to follow a platform that is purely just how I am, then you go on TikTok. That's very true. Yeah. That's like targets my personality. I know. I feel like all my social medias are like kind of the same. Yeah, I you agree. Really They're just like well. me being me. And try to find the balance. <laughs> I try to find the balance. I, Let's yeah. all just love each other. Let's all just support each other and love we each other love and each other. like I know, be literally. nice on social so, so, social. Show me, be yeah. nice on social media. <laughs> Don't be a troll. Yeah. yeah, fuck a troll. Don't waste those five minutes out of your day. You don't get an anything person. out of it. You really don't. Like, ask your, do you really feel better? Like after yeah. you yeah. leave yeah. somebody's news after you say something nasty. I've like, never ever ever in my entire life left like a hate comment or anything. I haven't either. That's why I like can oh, Wait, what? Left I, I, like a hate comment on something. Oh my God. Yeah, no, I couldn't. Yeah. Sometimes I'll do like a sarcastic joke. No, yeah. yeah. I, I make well, jokes like, with our sure. friend. Like, you know, yeah. yeah. No, like, but to leave something rude, it's like, why? Like, why? why? Yeah. Yeah. It just, it why waste does your no time? purpose. Yeah. 
I think I say I get so many so nasty messages because like we have a habit of like focusing on the negative. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like my friends will be like, everybody loves you on YouTube. I'm like, everybody hates me. Or like, dude, it's on so my funny. Instagram, I'm like everybody hates me. And they're like, but everybody likes you. I'm like, no, they don't. I just laugh like, at the people hard. that try to wreck me. I'm like, yeah. you're not going to get to me. Try yeah. me. Try no, me. Literally, I've been through way worse. Like you have to have like a very tough personality to be in like the social media world. Yeah. See this skin, this shit thick. She okay. Thick as fuck. I got some thick, thick skin. Thick with two C. Yeah. No, I literally like have people commenting on my photos, like something really mean, like you, you look fat, like blah, blah. And I go chill before, or I'll be like, chill that block button looking really nice. To me, I'll like comment that back, and then like they always end up DMing me like, "I'm so sorry." Like, yeah, blah, blah, blah. see, I like, reach out. Fuck yourself. I reach out. and I'm like, "Hey, like that was not that." Cool. Oh, I don't like, even be careful what you say on social media. I don't some even people like are gonna take crack. the time to message really? people. I, just I don't straight do it to everybody, them. but sometimes if it like gets to me, which I hate admitting that sometimes it does, but I think we're just human and that it is what it is. But I think I'll just be like, be careful. Attention. I know. Yeah. Yeah. They yeah, just they want us to DM. Yeah, and I'll be like, you know, I'm sending you all the love in the world because clearly you're going through it if you feel the need to like drag somebody down. And my then all of they're like, I'm so sorry. My block list be fat because I don't give a fuck. Like if somebody says something, it's just instant block. Like I could care less. And I literally have had people email me like, I'm sorry for saying that. Can you please unblock me? And I go, no, fuck you. <laughs> like yeah. I'm not going to take time yeah. out of my day to go unblock you. Like yeah. you're lost. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, that was well, a very eventful podcast. That was. That was, that was good. Lots of uh, sex tape vibes yeah. and, you know. Sex tape vibes, good vibes. Drama vibes. Drama yeah. vibes. Nudity love vibes. We love it. Love it all. We sending you all the love vibes. Yes. We are sending you all the love. Thank you guys so much yes, for watching. Yes. We love you all. If you enjoyed this, which com which emoji should they comment? Let's do the flame emoji for the Jay's flame. sex tape. Ooh. Oh, and let's do a coconut emoji for the coconut yes. oil. Yes. Okay, let's do let's Let's do a flame and a coconut. Yeah. If you guys made mm -hmm. it this far. Yes. All right, guys. This one's for Jay. This one is for Jay. Jay. If you're watching, we love you. Yeah. And we would love to have you in bed. We, we love <laughs> you, Daddy. The come only guest. Both on the yeah, podcast come be a guest and, and in bed. There's yeah. Brad there's can three start of the us. <laughs> Brad we already can have a videographer right here. <laughs> and he's like, no. <laughs> All right, you guys. Uh, thank kidding. you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, make sure to smash that thumbs up button, subscribe, and we will see you next time. Bye. Bye.